Now, if you are to travel in the time zones that are going to take you to, you know, these are not like cities. If you are sharp, you would see it says Islamic society of Markham. These are prayer times. That says Muhammad, peace be upon him and his family. And yes, as per the title of this little ditty, this is the Markham Central Mosque, right? So when I say tour of the mosque, some guy's going to be like, yo, yo, man, yo, this guy didn't take us on the goddamn tour of the goddamn mosque, man. He just shot the goddamn chandelier in a circular view. Guys, I didn't do any such damn thing. There you go. This is a tour of the main hall. I'm not going out there and getting attacked by one of these ISIS Wahhabis. There's a dude sitting in the office over there. There's kids in there, eh? They're very cool. So, as you can see, the time is 2.51 and 58 seconds. And life is good. So, like I say, like I grab my stuff. Like I'm a traveling consultant. I don't know what the hell you are, my friends. But as for me, I have my goddamn Chromebook. I'll get six to eight hours of battery life on this little baby. And then the party begins. Do, 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 do. Guys, <laughs> I, don't, I don't recommend you act stupid. If you, <laughs> yo, if you visit a goddamn mosque, yo, a goddamn mosque, do you, guys, in Shia Islam, I'm a Shia. Non-Muslims are not allowed to visit this mosque, right? This is facts. Now, you can visit other Islamic centers as long as it's not technically and primarily designated as a mosque. Something like this. Yo, the DHL guy. Do, 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 do. Check this dude out. This is like action he hero sequence. The guy can probably see all, here he comes. He can probably see all of this. Like now again, when you are, he can see, of course he can see, he's not stupid. Or maybe he is a goddamn idiot. You never know with these people. Oh, here he comes. So guys, uh, I'm gonna get kicked out of here, of course. When you come to a mosque or any place of worship, like I go to the Sikh temple, you, you gotta respect their, um, identity you got to respect of course their way of doing things if you come here and start sleeping on the chairs or you forget to wear like shoes or something or you put on the shoes if you if you are meant to take them off like so if you go to the sick gurdwara if you go to the sick gurdwara guys guys I gotta go. I, like I just came here to, to check things out. This is the Holy Quran, right? And I, you know, I'm so happy that I read it in Arabic. So, guys, just respect the thing. Like, if you go to a mosque, technically, like you shouldn't go to a mosque if you're not a Muslim. Why? Because you might have poop on your pants or some crap like this, right? Now, I urge you to go to places of worship. My wife is a Christian. I'm a Muslim. I go to every place of worship I'm allowed. I read every book I can get my goddamn hands on, grubby hands. Yo, know, if I have a bunch of books and like some of them I'm not interested in, but generally speaking, right, I'll show you. I'll show you goddamn fools, right? Like you got to like, you got to live this life, guys. You got to do stuff in this goddamn life. Like I find stuff like this thing I found on the bus and so was, like someone left it there. And of course, it's not going to last. It's like this beautiful hand sanitizer, like a la baby. And I'm putting it into my bag and do, do. You know, some girl minds that, um, dear user, dear viewer, some girl's looking at me like she minds that I'm doing this. Now, again, guys, speak it into being, write it, and you own it, okay? I'm telling you what, I've graduated. I'm, that's why I'm telling you this thing. It's like Imam Ali said, I don't tell you anything I haven't done. Guys, I've graduated from writing all kinds of notes like I do it with a pen and a paper. Like I type like masterfully, don't get me wrong. Anyway, I got my pen right here. You, a piece of paper and a notebook and a pen. Okay, blank piece of paper, 
you sit down every day, you write what comes to mind. You might draw stuff like this. You'll end up writing up notes, numbers, important things, and you'll figure out that there's not seven. There's just like two or three or five things. Like, for example, doo, 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 doo. this is Dario. That's my brother-in-law. Okay? And this was my address at the time. I, like, I move. It's like I, every six months I move. Every six months I change my phone number. Don't ask me why. That's just the way it works out. I'm not a goddamn gangster, okay? So this is my old address, whatever, right? And this is a beautiful card I got my brother-in-law. So now, like stuff like this, you just pop in here. Business cards, like letters you got to look at, like forms you got to fill. Just like this book. Even if you do not write in it, it is very cool because at a certain point, you'll realize you didn't write for a couple of days because you didn't need to because you're on your goddamn thing, guys. Speak it into being, write it, and you own it. Okay, so I'm going to speak this into being. What is this? A beautiful card from my beautiful brother-in-law, Cunado. He just had his birthday in Colombia. My wife is from there. So, yo soy musulmano. I'm a Muslim. Mi esposa es cristiana. Guys, I hope you don't mind. I'm leaving soon, eh? DHL. So now, um, so dear viewer, dear user, yo, check this card out. When a man lives with this, yo, so, yeah, so just be careful. If you come to the mosque or something like that, people are going to be praying, right? So just be very careful about this. Guys, when a man lives with strength and spirit. Okay, I, I, I read this before, whatever. It's a nice card. So I've even got a copy of the Bible in here, guys. This is like the gangster Bible, right? It's got crown of thorns on it and it's leather bound. Like why? Because I'm a Muslim. If I expect people to read the Quran, guys, like how are you going to preach to people to read the Quran and you haven't even looked at the Bible? So all I'm trying to show you is like books. Guys, you got to read every day. You got to write every day. Okay? I got to go. This is Markham Islamic Society, aka the mosque. It's not on Markham and Steels. Just remember that. It's like around the corner. So don't go to Markham and Steele's. There's a church there or something like this. That's not the mosque, guys. See you later, okay?